everybody today i got another bike jumping video i was looking at my analytics today and i seen that most people that watch these videos um they look up how to make um jumps like these so i already have one made here it's a big probably four footer but i'm gonna just basically show you how i did it honestly so this is the jump right here doesn't look too big on camera, but it's about to my little over my waist. Quite a bit actually over my waist. But yeah. So basically, all we did is we have this big dirt pile here. You don't have to have a dirt pile. Honestly, all you need is you could take this barrel over here. And you could set it on its side, put a rock in front of it, and put a board over it. You can jump that. Depending on how skilled you are would be how big the board is. But if anything else like that, um, yeah. So I just have this ready. I had it smooth like this. And then I just put a board smack dab on top of it. And I filled it over with sand. That way you don't sink through the sand. Because that would end out over the handlebars. So yeah, as you can tell, I've hit this jump a couple times. Just to make sure. It's pretty good up. I like to have here, I got a flatter place, but right here it's kind of pointed so that you can just glide right over it. Your back tire is going to touch here if you can see that. But then the whole point of the end jump is so that you don't fly over and then break your wrist hitting the ground and stuff. Especially with my bike, I have the handlebars so far down. But yeah, this really did not take super long, but it's a lot of work. So yeah, once you get this over, then you got to jump down. If there's anything you guys need to know about these jumps at all, um, just say in the comments and I'll make another video about this of me building it. Just like a little bit of a faster video. And then when I'm done with that, then I can have another video like this to get the jumps perfect for you. But yeah, all you need is, oh, one more thing. I curved this a little bit. So, like, if you're going to have a rough terrain here, which I do, you're going to want to curve it to wherever you need. You're going to have to have some sidewalls, like I have here. And on that other jump that you guys liked, I had sidewalls on that so that I could just turn. Well, yeah. So, I'm going to show you a couple jumps of me jumping this. And then tell me what you think. All right, so I had one more thing before I jump it, but I just want to kind of show how to get over the jump in with a bike to me. Basically, I always say that you need to do some practice jumps before you hit a jump, but me personally, I think you should just run over the jump a couple times like this. But once you're getting into like jumping it, try and wheelie it so that you you get over the jump. That way you'll get the effect where your back tire hits it and you'll go down smoothly. Otherwise, if you're just running it over and it's not quite a jump, it's more of a hill, which I'll probably run it like that once this is just to show you. And then I'll have once, or actually a couple times, where I'll just hit it and kind of show what I know. I'm not professional or anything, so you probably don't want to listen to me. But I'm going to show you first the um, just running over it, and yeah, I'll cut right to it. If you could see in that at all, my front tire barely went over, but it's just because I hit it faster. I, yeah, <laughs> otherwise I just kind of ran it over. You'll see when I wheelie, I'm not going to get too much air, but I'm just, this is just to show people things, and yeah, so let's get right to it. I hope you 
you liked all these jumps today. Um, if you try this out at all, I mean, I really hope it works for you. But like I said, if you have any questions or comments, just put them in the comments and I'll try my hardest to answer them in the next video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.